My dear sister, um, um, we were at the beginning of the Black Studies uh, movement here in America, and I was blessed to uh, teach, initiate the first course on uh, the black woman uh, in America, and that was at the University of Pitt um, in 1969. And of course, when I moved back to uh, the East and came back home, I then had to begin to look for books and other books that I had had to include in that discussion of black women. And I, of course, read The Bluest Eye. Let me tell you, my dear sister, when I read The Bluest Eye, I sat down on the floor. You know, I read in all kinds of positions, sometimes in bed, stretched out, sometimes on the couch, you know, sitting rigidly rigid, uh, sometimes walking back and forth uh, as I read. Um, I did not put that book down. I literally started it from the beginning, and later on that night, up in my study, where I had ended with a cup of hot tea, that I began to finish that book. Um, and, you know, and what I knew that this woman, this Sister Toni Morrison, did something uh, uh, with language, with words, um, how she, in a sense, in that book and all the other books, um, um, untangle uh, this language that had captured us in this place called America, how she began to stand those words up, uh, and how she let those words minuet our blood, you know. And so she opened up this thing called sorcery, the sorcery of our language. Um, and, and she was spitting teeth. Um, on uh, on on our words, and but she was recapturing uh, our most sacred vows, those vows in our language, uh, in a place called America, and um, you know um, I, I I taught that um, that book um, that was one of the books that I constantly taught that I always said to Sister Tony. When people began to talk about her greatest book, you know, I said, well, you know, I always gravitate back towards the bluest eye uh, because of what it says and what it does uh, uh, for us uh, uh, as black women. I, at some point, uh, began to look and understand that, you know, in many African cultures, um, when you have twins, it is said that the first twin uh, that comes out comes out, you know, to search and make sure it's okay for the second twin. So you come out and you look around. I maintain when I teach that the bluest eye was that first twin coming out, looking around, searching, say, is it okay to say this? Is it okay what I'm going to say? Is there fertile land for this? Are there fertile eyes for this? Are there fertile, is there fertile memory for what I'm going to say? You know, and then all the other all the other children came out, from Sula on down, you know, to Beloved. But that first one, the bluest eye, was the one that came out to say, hey, is it safe to do this? Um, let me tell you what's happening out here as you prepare to bring us these other books, right? So one of the things, every time I, I read her, I would always put on my eyes. You know, I used to tell her this, uh, because I'm, I was always in the eyelash of her memory, um, where there was always uh, a miracle, miracle called Sister Toni Morrison.